Welcome back. We're continuing our training about holes. In this video, we're going to work with the Hole Series tool. Here I've created a hole at the part level. Let's deselect everything and then activate the Hole Series tool. So we're now in the 3D sketch environment. Let's cancel out of the Hole tool. And now let's pre-select this face. Then activate the tool. Since we pre-selected the face where we want the hole to originate, we're in the 2D sketch environment. Each left click places a hole. Let's go to the second tab. On this tab, we set some of the parameters that you've seen before in our work with holes. We can choose the type of hole or slot, counter bore, counter sink, or simple. Let's use a counter bore hole. Down below, we can choose the standard from this drop down menu ANSI inch type and size. Let's use a quarter of an inch. Here we can choose the fit, either close, normal, or loose. Once again, we've got the familiar options you've seen before, head clearance. And here we set the value of the clearance. Near side countersink with its own parameters, diameter and degree of the taper. And underhead countersink. And at the bottom, we can set some custom sizing for the various dimensions of the hole. We're ready to move to the third tab. This tab is where we set specifications for the middle hole. The two types we have to choose from are a hole or a slot. There's an auto size based on start hole checkbox. When we uncheck that, we'll be able to set the parameters for the size and type manually. From here, we can choose the type the size, 